Unbound Supplements Epicata Chin. What's happening, guys? Hope your day is going well. Back with another review. If you're new to the channel, my name is David, and I review ingredients, supplements, pre-workouts, EA formulas, you name it. I'll review it if I've run it or if I've got it to help you along on your mission to muscle. And before I get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be coming back for more. And hit that like button right now. Like, hit it now, because most people tend to forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. So today, we're reviewing Unbound Supplements Epicatechin. So I want to talk about epicatechin a little bit, but I also want to talk about the ingredient that's in this. So epicatechin, you can get epicatechin from green tea, from fruits, vegetables, and cocoa. So chocolate has the most abundant amount of epicatechin in it. So this particular ingredient, which is pro epicat, is actually from cocoa bean. So I prefer this ingredient. So if you're looking for epicatechin, I've ran the green tea versions, I ran this one. And this one seems to be more consistent. The green tea versions, it's almost like sometimes I ran Blackstone Labs for a while and it was almost like sometimes the product wasn't quality. But on this one here, I ran the Pro Epicat in uh, Peak Performance Labs Nuclear Power and boom, notice the effects, the vasodilation, the extra pump effects. And uh, on the um, this one, I've ran this, and I've also ran Unbound's Build. And I noticed the effects. It's just been quality all around. So having a product other than just a green tea extract, but a nutraceutical form of an ingredient, there's benefits to that because it's going to be consistent because they're going to that company to get this particular ingredient into their product. So with that said, Epicatechin is in the catechin family. So it's a strong antioxidant. It's gonna help with regulating cortisol levels. It's gonna help with regulating glucose levels. In turn, what that's gonna do is it's gonna have a one-two punch on recomposition. It's going to help with fat loss and fat oxidization. And it's gonna help with hormone balancing. The ingredient on itself does not increase testosterone. So this is not a test booster of any kind. It's not going to mess with your hormones of any kind. This is totally different than Turk. It's totally different than Laxo. It's totally different than ecti, um, Ectisterone. This is in, in its own league. And this is used most of the time, at least when I use it. It's not for like a bulking phase as far as I'm concerned. It's for someone who's running maintenance and wants those lean gains, wants to see fibers coming out as they're kind of like running maintenance and hitting it harder than normal and burning more calories or running in a slight deficit to help you maintain muscle. And that's how Laxo is actually really good for is running into in a deficit and maintaining muscle because of the protein synthesis spike. There are a number of different studies and a number of different claims on this product, but the big ones that I have been able to confirm on my own experiences is the extra mitochondria, mitochondrial function, which is ATP production, because in two weeks taking this, my energy levels have increased. I've actually got a cognitive kick, a boost. So taking pre-workouts now and taking, um, what is it, uh, nootropics, there it's enhanced and it lasts longer because taking this is actually helping uh, blood cross the bl the blood brain barrier so you get better blood flow into the brain. So I am noticing that exactly. There's been a few studies. There's been a studies on rats and mice and older people where epicatechin lowers myostatin. So if you have an increase in myostatin, so about age 25, we start statin and myostatin are supposed to be at a certain level. So statin is supposed to be high and that keeps myostatin low, which is great for muscle growth. But around 25, it starts to kind of tilter a little bit. So myo, myostatin inhibitors have produced some great effects in bodybuilding and in muscle building. And for instance, you've seen those jack dogs, <laughs> those jack bulls out there where there's just nothing but muscle and you're just like, oh my God, that thing's freaky. That's because they have a myostatin gene deficiency to where they have really low myostatin and very high follistatin, and they just do nothing but burn fat and build muscle. Now, we don't want that. We do want our body to control these effects because we don't want to be a freak of nature, and we want to be healthy. So this actually has been shown in these studies through rats, mice, and humans, elderly, 
to increase follistatin and decrease myostatin. Keep in mind, training alone lowers myostatin and increases follistatin for anywhere between six to eight hours if you train hard enough. Also, creatine has been shown to lower myostatin and increase follistatin as well. So energy, better brain function, which are two big giant keys. And in two weeks, I've noticed, I've noticed no muscle gain, okay? But I've noticed the recomping effects like I do whenever I run epicatogen. Epicatogen is one of my, like I said, I, I think I already said this, it's one of my favorite natural body, uh, natural bodybuilding ingredients out there because you just notice stuff. Vasodilation and pumps come right from the get-go. So this is a product that if you take with a pre-workout and before you work out, you're going to notice increased pumps and increased vasodilation because this inhibits an enzyme that's secreted by the body that actually breaks down nitric oxide. So it helps nitric oxide last longer in the body. So that couples very well with ingredients like Vaso-6, Cellflow-6, L-citrulline, and uh, really delivers some good vasodilation and some pumps, that extra kick. Energy and endurance and performance, there's been a few studies on, on it. Long-term studies, I think eight weeks and three months. Don't quote me on the three months. I know it was an eight-week study to where they showed increased endurance and increased performance. I'm noticing that in the gym because of the mitochondrial function, the energy, extra energy I'm getting out of this in two weeks. So my workouts are really, really nice. You know, I'm still taking my pre's. I took hooligan today. So, but I'm noticing a big difference. Oxidative stress and cortisol levels, I noticed that too. So I've been messing with the dosages. This is one pill at 300 milligrams at 90%. Epicatechin. And from what I understand, pro epicat, they're saying 90, 90%, but actually the manufacturer says it's anywhere between 95 and 96. So it is different than the green tea extract, even in the extraction process. It's more of a watered uh, hydration extraction or something. So it's very, very quality. So this is one capsule on this particular product is 300 milligrams at 90%, 60 capsules. I think this goes for anywhere between 40 and 50 bucks. I have been taking two pills. So there's dosage-wise, you're going to read a lot of stuff out there to where dosage is anywhere between 150 and 300 a day. And you can separate the dose. You can take it all at once. What I found is I think it's individually based. There's a lot of anecdotal, anecdotal reports out there. And I'm not telling anyone to do this. This is at your own discretion. And I tell you guys, I'm telling you this right now, you start at the lowest dose and work your way up if you need it. So for me, I was running this at 300 milligrams and I'm like, what the hell? I'm gonna experiment here. So I started to do 300 milligrams in the morning before training and I did another 300 milligrams later on and my energy and my brain function and some anti-inflammatory effects just kicked in. So feel really good at 600 milligrams. I'm noticing no side effects. I feel like I'm pumped almost all day long, especially after I consume food. So this has been shown in one study on obese people that if they take epicatechin, actually at a lower dose, that it increases like a partitioning effect of nutrients for weight loss and fat loss. So taking it twice a day, in my opinion, at the dose I'm taking is 600 or at the recommended dose, I'm telling you guys, I'm saying recommended because don't come at me and tell me you told me to take 600. And I'm not telling you to take 600. I'm telling you that you do what you do and I do what I do, but I'm here to deliver information. So separating the dose of epicatechin, whatever dosage you decide to take is ideal because you can take one dose before training and then you take one dose probably an hour before meal and it's going to help further fat loss and the recomping effects later on in the day. So there's a lot of other benefits on this product. I did write a blog on this on my site. I'll put a link down below and I put the links to the research studies so you guys can check out the research studies if you want to do that. Other than that, uh, is there anything else I can say on this? Ah, safety. So like any other pump ingredient, any other ingredient that creates vasodilation, it's going to lower blood pressure. So if you are on blood pressure medication, you want, do not want to take your blood pressure medication in and around taking something like this or any other supplement that's going to create vasodilation. 
Also, if you take glucose medication like, like metformin or something like this, this will control or lower glucose levels post-training, mainly post-training, a little bit during training. So you want to make sure if you're taking metformin or something like that or some kind of diabetic medication, you consult your doctor on both of those situations, but you do not take the metformin around this thing. You try to separate the dosages and go from there. And I'm telling you right now, because I don't want any problems, because I'm here to deliver information to my honest information, uh, check with your doctor if those conditions do exist in your life. Other than that, I have no codes for this. This is just me just trying to help you guys along on your mission to muscle because I'm constantly living a mission to muscle. So anything I can help out with you guys, especially supplement-wise, I'm definitely going to deliver it. So what, like I said in the beginning, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Other than that, I'm going to get on with my day. You guys have a fantastic day yourself. We'll see you next time on the channel.